Tally ERP9 introduces the e-payment report that provides complete information on all the e-payment transactions recorded in Tally ERP9. All e-payment transactions are categorized as Transactions with incomplete information Transactions with information mismatch Ready for sending to bank Or Transactions sent to bank this provides complete visibility of every e-payment transaction recorded in Tally ERP9. You can also correct transactions with incomplete or mismatch in information right from the report itself. Additionally, you can upload the e-payment details directly to the bank to process the required payment. In this video, we will understand the e-payment report and how to send the same from Tally to DBS Bank for processing. To do this, let us create a bank ledger. Update bank details in party ledger. Record a transaction for bank payment. View the transaction in the e-payment report. And send the same to the DBS bank. To create a bank ledger, go to ledger creation screen. Enter the required information. Ensure that the option Enable ePayments is set to Yes. Let us now create a party ledger and enter bank details. Set the option Provide Bank Details to Yes. Selecting the transaction type as eFund Transfer will auto-identify the transfer as same bank or interbank. Now, let us record a e-payment voucher for this party. This payment transaction appears in the e-payment report along with other e-payment transactions. To view the e-payment report, go to Banking and then e-payments. In the e-payment report, all completed transactions that are ready for sending to the bank appear here. Those payments that have mandatory information missing, such as account number, IFS code, appear here. You can correct the same by drilling down to the transaction and entering the required information. Similarly, those payment transactions that have mismatch in information with masters appear here. You can either correct the mismatch in vouchers and masters or just accept the details as is. You can also choose to copy details from master info. All transactions are now ready to be sent to bank. You can send all the transactions at once, or drill down to select transactions individually. Click send to bank. After the transactions are successfully sent to the bank they appear here. These transactions are unreconciled transactions. Drill down to view details of these transactions. Once the e-payment details are sent to the bank, you can track the status in Tally. When the status changes to authorization pending, click authorize to continue the payment. This takes you directly to your DBS bank account login page, so that you can complete your e-payment without any hassle. This concludes this how-to video on e-payment reports in Tally ERP9. Thank you for watching. Please visit help.tallysolutions.com for more information.